Wait, this taste reminds me of Thai kind of lumpia. Or the total of the water tank expenses cost me. So this is the water tank that we are going to buy today for our water. And yeah, let's see. We are going to buy two pieces. Hey, go, Natai. A few moments later. So these two big water bottles cost 1,750 pesos. So these. All of these are 3,500 pesos. Yeah, we are planning to put it. So we are going to put right there. I don't know how we can do this because there's a lot of rocks. Could be... I don't know. We're going to plant it tomorrow. My dad suggested should be hollow blocks all in here. But I don't have budget for cemented. So this is the locking for the house project. It's right here. That's a firewall already and it should be there. There's a gate and that's the um, column, last column. And then goes right here for the gate and right there. Um, there should be hollow blocks pile in here. I don't have budget for that. And this area, we are going to put the water tank right here like that we are going to put foundation here tomorrow and it should be cemented but yeah i don't have budget for cemented foundation here probably we are going to put some stones and yeah that's it three days later so hi guys welcome to another cooking vlog so today i am going to share with you guys Shanghai roll with vermicelli noodles, bean sprout that I grow today. I, I mean that I grow for five days. And let's start. Earlier, I chopped the onions, green onions, the white onions. I separate them and then the garlic and then the pepper, red pepper. And this is the vermicelli which is I cut for small pieces. And this is the carrots and this is the cabbage that I chop very thin. This one is the bean sprout that I grow for five days and harvest time today and then also I'm going to cook it today. And this is the potato which is I use this one for the potato and then for the carrots but I got some a little minor injury right here in my hand and salt, black pepper, oil and soy sauce and this is the lumpia wrap. It's very small that's why I chop all of this into small pieces especially those and these and let's start okay so i have here a pot first thing we are going to do is to boil this water cook this vermicelli noodles also this bean sprout for two minutes and let's wait ow okay so now it's boiling let's put this noodles You'll know if it's cooked if the noodles are completely like in a glass color. To test also is you have you can cut one easily that means it's cooked. So now it's almost cooked and then we're going to put this bean sprout. Cook the bean sprout for two minutes. Ow. Ow. Wow, that's a big one, Sam. Cooking. Say hi. <laughs> Done. 
turn off our low heat. Then drain the water. We have a big pot for the rest of the ingredients. Sa? Distance B. Oil man, oil. Dangerous. Okay, of course, let's put the garlic. <laughs> so I'm just sitting, guys, because I can't stand longer. I have a leg cramps from cutting all of this while standing, then sitting, standing, sitting. So yeah, that's why right now I'm just sitting. And then let's put the onions, which the white one. Red onion. And we have nor cubes. Um, nor cube is something like chicken brew for some of you use a liquid. But we use this. Save uh, the green onions for later. So let's put the pepper. We have like a colorful kind of I'm sweating. I'm sweating, Sam. I'm super sweating. Put this potato. What? You wanna eat? Let it cook. Cover. So the potato are ready. We are going to put the carrots. We are going to add a little bit of water. Then next, we are going to put this cabbage and this noodles and bean sprout. Let's put chicken broth, which is in chicken broth in cubes. Gonna get melt. Put the cabbage. Wow, this is a lot. This is all vegetables. It looks so colorful. Next, we are going to add the bean sprout and the noodles. Wow, this is a lot. Let's add some pepper. So, we are going to add one more chicken cubes because this is a lot. Put in it, ha? Then we are going to add sesame oil. It's my first time using sesame oil. Let's add some salt. That's like one teaspoon of salt. Then let's add some soy sauce. That's like oh, one tablespoon of soy sauce. So by the way, this is my first time cooking this dish. <laughs> Always first time. I just experiment the sesame oil and the pepper. And then next, the last part, we are going to add this green onions. There's some. Thank you so much. Careful, oi! Mm. Yeah, it's yummy. Yeah, it's yummy. I like it. I like it. Mm. It's done by the way, so we are going to turn it off. It's not that um, salty also, and then we are going to cool this down and then wrap it in, yeah, and wrap it here small pieces because this is small and then fry later and by the way you can actually eat this one alone yeah because it's already cooked and if you want to eat it probably this kind of wrapper is not enough for all of these things so we are going to use all of it and then the rest we will eat them so let's wait later until it's cooled down i'm so happy with my first time it's yummy. Mm. A few moments later. It's almost done. So we have here the last part. This is our lumpia wrap right now. So this is the last part. This is how you do it. Spread it like this. Roll it. <laughs> Roll it. And then wet the edge with water. It's done! Yay! So we got 
here a lot. Tonight, we are going to cook a few. And then tomorrow, we are going to cook a few or fry a few. And then we are going to put this one in the freezer so we can stock it for tomorrow and doesn't go bad. I put the vegetable oil and then let's fry some. Fry, fry, fry. So I just put a little, not too much oil because I don't want to waste all my oil because I still have a lot of cooking vlogs coming soon <laughs> and it's locked down so anyway it's, it's already cooked so you just have to crispy the, um, the lumpia wrap because it's um, the inside is already cooked you know and this is also vegetable oil so I think it's healthy unlike other oils while it's cooking we have here um, it's better to put some paper towel or table napkins so that the excess oil goes to the paper towel anyway let's try I have here some ketchup mm. Wait, this taste reminds me of Thai Shanghai or Thai kind of lumpia. Oh, I did it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> now I know how to make lumpia with Thai kind of taste. I like this vegetable lumpia, guys. You should try it. I've just shared this. This kind of dish is kind of need some patience. It's because you have to chop all of the ingredients into, into small pieces and also wrap this like this in a multiple times or a longer time. So this kind of dish needs a lot of patience. But I like it. It's worth it. Today, the water tank is now finished. So as you can see, my father put... So it's from there. So that's the main source of the water we have for the whole house. And then that's the connection going up, up, and then the off and lock. This one is for on and off for the whole house if we need this tank. Yeah, if we need this tank, and then this one at the bottom is the on and off for water to come in the tank. Like as you can see, a touch from there, up there, 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 goes to there. So this line right here are the one who gives to both of this tank a water. From the main source that we have from our monthly payment and then from there it's if this one's gonna full this one's gonna full also so if this one's full then it goes from there to down there and right here at the bottom so as you can see there's lines and there's line down here goes here yes so that's how you turn it on and off if we are going to use the whole water from this tank for the whole house to use this water from this tank yeah and by the way we wash this tank with hot water multiple times and then wash it again and again so I think it's okay but I see some leaking right here. Where is this from? It's full? Why it's leaking? 
So probably tomorrow I can use my hot shower. Yay! This mat hall right here, they assembled it for one day and then I rented the welding machine for this one. And then by the way, this one, a metal or tubo, cost me around 640 pesos. These small ones cost me 310 pesos. And then they put some, what do you call this, cement down there, cement down there, cement, and cement right here. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's working well. I'm going to link below how much it costs for me to all of these expenses. Nice, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to mention all of the expenses that I spent for water tank expenses. Um, I decided to have this tank plastic. It's because it saves me more money for rather than using a steel water tank. So for the water tank, two pieces, which is 3,500. For the GI pipe, three pieces, which is the big steel. I think the size is two and 640 pesos for three 1920 and then for the pvc water pipe solvent epoxy hooks and etc cost 700 and gi pipe number one or size one three pieces for 310 is equals to 930 and then i paid for labor and then the welding machine because we rented the welding machine and then two labors for to um to build the stand of the water tank which is one thousand pesos for the labor and the welding machine rent and then the 10 mm three pieces for 110 is equals to 330 pesos so for the total of the water Tank expenses cost me or total is equal to 8,380 pesos. So which is a good deal, I think. I didn't expect though that I have to spend 8,000 for the water tank. I thought it's just only 5,000 pesos. I thought, but it goes to 8,000 and of course, I didn't pay for labor for because my dad do all of the um, connect connections of the water tank. And yeah, <laughs> I just paid the labor for the welding machine because my dad doesn't know how to welding. And yeah, so that's all of the expenses. If I did use the water tank steel or steely steel, which is cost me more than that. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And don't forget to click the notification bell to keep updated every time I post a new video. Thank you to all of my viewers, my subscribers, my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much and have a nice day everyone. Bye! <laughs> when I saw you, I would lose control Made me feel like there was no tomorrow Should've told you that you're beautiful But the days pass and now it's so long ago